All right, so in this example, we've got an example trying to demonstrate what happens when we add a 100% taxable asset, 100% taxable asset, and that goes from 100% taxable to 100% exempt supply. The typical example would be a fringe benefit. So in this instance, if you can maybe read through the actual example, the heading on top here, uh, just below the 100% uh, notion is stated as change in use or adjusted cost. So Poly LTD sells loan mower machines. Uh, it sells loan loan mower machines. It initially bought it initially bought ten loan mowers from a supplier at a cost of forty thousand rands. So Poly's owner took one of the loan mowers took one of the loan mowers home for private use. Poly LTD usually sells one loan mower at a price of 6,000 rands. What are the implications in this scenario? So what do we know about Poly having bought the loan mowers originally at a cost of 40,000? They would have claimed VAT, right? Assuming that we buy them from registered VAT vendors, they would have claimed VAT based on 40,000 rands based on 40,000 runs times VAT. I'm assuming everybody's VAT vendors in this instance. And therefore the VAT portion in this regard would have been, VAT portion would have been 40,000. Okay, let's go look at the fraction first. Times VAT. So 40, 40,000 would have earned us uh, input VAT of 5,217 input VAT. 5,217 input VAT. So individually, uh, each asset would have definitely earned uh, VAT of 521. 70 cents input VAT individually. Input VAT individually per loan mower, per loan mower machine, per loan mower, per loan mower. I hope you get that. So individually, one would have basically cost us, would have an input VAT of, of uh, 5,000 for one machine, right? That's Originally, that would have happened. That would have been what happened. But now, suddenly, uh, uh, thingy, uh, the owner of Poly decides to take one of the machines home. And bearing in mind that, hey, Sars gave him VAT based on the actual cost when he he originally purchased the machine for that particular machine because it's one machine of 521 and 70 cents. So SARS is saying when you do this, we no longer have uh, the item now. We cannot claim back the output VAT because had you stuck to the plan, had you stuck to the plan, we would have been earning output VAT when you sell one of these machines at a cost of uh when you sell one of the these machines so private use so so when you sell one of these machines you would have sold the, the one machine one machine at a cost of six thousand rand so poly now says so sars says no we will charge you vet then based on open market value open market value it's not based on the lower like other adjusted cost situation that we spoke about the lower of co adjusted cost open market value this one sar says no we will charge you at an open market value because had you stuck to the plan we would have been able to get our normal output vat when you were actually selling the machine so now you took the machine for yourself we can't recognize anything so for us to actually recognize our output vat we're gonna navy vat uh, on that particular machine at an open at an open market value of six thousand rands. 
not the actual cost that we would have bought one machine for, for 4,000 rand for one machine. No, we're not interested in that because that was tra a trading stock. You took trading stock home, so you would have sold this trading stock for a market value. This would have been a market value a month. That's why it recognizes, you know, a, a profit in terms of the cost of 4,000 versus 6,000. So we want to get our normal output that we would have that we would have recognized. So SARS is going to want VAT based on 6,000 rands times 15 over 115, which would be adjusted cost when the actual asset was actually a hundred percent taxable asset but it's now gone on to be an exam supply because it's no longer traded stock it's been given to the actual owner as part of his uh, private use so 783 output vet would now be levied to that actual lawnmower that got taken off that by the actual owner so we don't care about the input that that you would have originally claimed there is no net effect anymore because had you stuck to the plan SARS would have been able to uh, basically claim back that actual normal output that which would have been based on the actual selling price of 6,000 rands which you did not stick to and that's what SARS is saying in that regard I hope you get that